Steve. What are you doing? What's that in your hands? Popcorn. I thought we talked about this. You're having you're having more popcorn. Listen, it's, it's a little late. I want something quick. I'm hungry. Steve, I'm I'm. Can you can you just hang on hang on a second? I'm just I'm worried about you. Listen, we. we it's just a quick snack. Once a day, you know, I can stop it whenever I want. It starts once a day. It's just the only snack I have. It starts once a day, and then it becomes twice a day. Soon you're going to be eating a whole box in a single day. The, Steve, the, the popcorn changes. I have a job. I, I can support. I, I can support. Maybe you have a job, but popcorn's expensive, and it changes you. But it's so good. I don't think it's normal that one person eats an entire bag of popcorn all by themselves. Sorry, I can't hear you over the microwave. Why is your hood up? You been hanging out with other people that do popcorn all the time? You rolling with a gang? Steve, can you come over here, please? Just, just, just take a seat, okay? We gotta talk. Steve, can you look at me, please? This is important. This is an intervention. For? For the popcorn. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm worried about you. You, you can't, you can't seem to stop. I know you say you can stop, but I don't think you can. And I don't, I don't feel like you're taking this seriously, and... I think you need to work on getting some help. Are you are you with me on this? I don't have it that often. Steve, you're you're eating popcorn right now. Put it down. Hello. I chase his vlog. <laughs> so uh, Jordan's been here for a few days. I haven't vlogged at all because I felt like death, and we weren't doing anything for the most part. We went to a pool party yesterday. That was a lot of fun, but I knew two people there. One of them was Shannon and one of them was Jordan, so I didn't really feel like bringing the camera made sense and recording people that are not part of my family. So uh, we had a good day yesterday, but with no footage of that. And now we are going to a balloon festival, which isn't as boring as it sounds. It's close, but not quite. And uh, But first we're going to get some coffee. Coffee good. Coffee always good. Uh, the line. We're never going to get coffee. <laughs> And now we wait some more. Found Shannon.
Now Jordan leaves me. Why do you leave me? Oh. Bye, Chase. <laughs> Two miles away right now. Now. Excuse me. You like the man bun? I think man buns are for retards. What's wrong with my man bun? Case in point. Listen, last time I checked, I got laid more often than you. So fuck you. That doesn't seem right. No, it does seem right. You get where are we going? Well, it's Friday night, and we spent a lot of the evening watching Wootwicks. Now we're gonna go get ice cream. Okay, ice cream. We're gonna go eat ice cream to help us forget that we just spent an hour watching people eat and drink on Twitch. This is this is what being an adult is like. Free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedom's out to take. Okay, today is Wednesday the 30th. One of my viewers told me that he sent something to our P.O. box and it should be arriving today. So we're going to go check it and uh, see if it's actually the case. And if so, it'll be the first thing that actually arrives at the P.O. box that isn't just fucking flyers for Rite Aid. So let's go. Kevin, you're a fucking liar. There was no package. But might as well grab some Dunkin' while I'm out and about. All right, got my iced coffee, and I realize it's not Kevin's fault. The package doesn't come in yet. He probably just got a uh, an estimate from whatever service he's using to ship it to me, and they estimated tonight, and it just might not be there yet. 
it's only 2 p.m. Um, I'm not going back today, probably, so uh, it'll have to be tomorrow. But it could come in this evening, which is unfortunate because stuff that uh, comes in later in the day is unlikely to get picked up the same day, just because the post office closes at 5, I think. So I'm going to have to check it again tomorrow. But oh well, when I do get that package, um, you will get a shot of me opening it, and we'll see what's inside together. Don't you love it when you get out of the shower? And your hair still looks fucking ridiculous. What is this? What is all that? Never mind the fucking permanent hair dent that I have because of streaming. Anyway, round two, I'm gonna go check the P.O. box again for Kevin's package, and if it's not there, I'm gonna send him a uh, rude twitch whisper. Success! We got a package to the P.O. box for the first time. We are now going to open this. I believe this is from my viewer named Kevin. Uh, his username is L-O-L-N-E-I-T. So thank you very much for this, Kevin. Let's go ahead and open it and see what it is. I really hope it's not a dildo. That would be a, an unfortunate way to start us off here. Alright, here we go. And just so you know, if anybody wants to send anything to us, just address it similarly to this. Tripwire or Battle Stove or Chase or Steve. P.O. Box 247, Norway, Maine. 04268. Anybody's welcome to send us junk. Make the deposit we put down for the P.O. Box worth it. That would be fine by us. I thought at first, upon picking it up, that it might be a dildo, but it doesn't seem to be, unless it's like, I don't know, like a chode dildo. It came from a pretty innocuous sounding business on the upper label. Uh, they actually ruined it. They put a, they put a little, they put a little label sticker on it. Apparently it is a Disney Store Stitch themed coffee mug, and I really hope it's not the one that I have already. I don't know, Kevin's been watching my stream a long time, so I think he knows that I already have one. But it's not around that often, so maybe, maybe he could have sent me the same one? I don't know. Let's see. Get, get, get. This. I can't even get my fingers in there to pry off this piece of cardboard. There we go. Nope, this one's much bigger. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice coffee mug. Nice shade of blue on the inside. Navy blue with uh, those Hawaiian flowers. Oh, and look, it says Stitch on the other side. Seems like an odd place to cut off his face right at the upper jaw. <laughs> but that is pretty nice. I'll definitely use that. Those are my two Stitch coffee mugs. This one I bought at the Disney store in England. And of course, this is the one that Kevin just sent me. That's very nice. I like that. Cool. Well, shout out to... LOL Nate, Kevin, thank you so much for sending me this. First thing sent to the P.O. Box. It was a very sweet gift. I like that. And it's not even a dildo. And we have our second item to the P.O. Box. It is a letter. Uh, I'm hiding the return address, of course. And the post office people, I think, wrote a fucking question mark on it. I don't know why. Because the, I mean, it made it to me. It made it to the right P.O. box. I don't know what the question mark's for. Like, what, where's the confusion at? I think it's because my viewer who sent me this. Also, thanks, L. Meyer, for this letter. I know it came from you. Maybe it's because he wrote Chase. I don't know. Because when I signed up for the uh, P.O. box, um, you know, I said if it's addressed to Tripwire, or Tripwire Gaming, or Battle Stove, that's good. And uh, the P.O. box, or the, uh, the post office people don't know that my nickname is Chase. Because it's not my legal name, first name. So maybe they're confused about the Chase, but... It made it to the right place, so I don't know why they bothered writing a question mark on it, but let's see what's inside here. Okay. It looks like there's a little rip in it at the top here. I did not do that. I opened it pretty carefully. So either it was already... Is that a quarter? Is that a quarter I see? Aw, that's so sweet. Um, it says, Hi Chase, sorry for my bad handwriting. It's L. Meyer. Thanks for the laughs. Thank you for the laughs. Cheer one, and he gave me a penny. That's actually really funny. <laughs> and before any of you guys start making fun of Elmaya for his bad handwriting, he's, he suffers from dysgraphia, uh, which is a condition that makes it uh, difficult to write coherently. So props to Elmaya for even sending me a letter. Thank you very much, Elmaya. That's very sweet. I like the cheer one.
I'm gonna keep this forever. Thank you. That's nice. All right, so here is the third thing I received to uh, my P.O. box. This is actually take two. Uh, the first time through, I was still getting accustomed to the uh, the person's handwriting, and it's kind of cursive-esque, so the take was very slow-paced, and I, I wanted to try it again. So, Yvetta, thank you very much for the postcard. It's got a nice picture of a, a lizard on a flower here. And uh, apparently she's been traveling, because it comes from Spain. This is Espana right there. And it says, Hola. I'm sure you can imagine sandy beaches, ours is rocky, and rows of planted palm trees. So I decided to send a card with the local lizard instead. So uh, yeah, it was a good choice. I can picture beaches and palm trees in my head. I think the lizard was a, was a nice choice. Because uh, I guess I probably wouldn't have imagined that. And it says the food here is amazing. The wind makes the temperature bearable. And if I didn't have, uh, have to use sunscreen, it would be just perfect. Best wishes, Yvetta. It also says, P.S. Hi, Steb. Steb being Steve, my roommate. And P.P.S. The Wi-Fi here sucks. Which is not so bad, right? You know, on vacation. It's not really the focal point. But hey, very nice card. Uh, and uh, yeah, actually, I didn't know that Yvetta was planning on writing me one. It was kind of unexpected when I went today. So thank you for that, Yvetta. Hey guys, I know that this vlog was very disjointed. A lot of different stuff happened in it that was not related to the other stuff that happened in it, but I figured a, a nice long vlog with a lot of stuff that happened in it would be good, because I think the previous one, not, I didn't do much at all. And uh, you guys have waited a while, those of you that like my vlogs, for a new one to come out. I figured it wouldn't, wouldn't be so bad to have one that's, that's longer than the average one. And uh, I could have broken it up into two vlogs, but I didn't really see much reason in doing that, because despite the stuff being disjointed, it's not like the things deserved their own episode, on their own so um hope you enjoyed this vlog this was my seventh one i think i've done so far um yeah i hope you guys are still liking them uh i think it was it was cool to actually get out and do some stuff over the summer for this vlog and also um thank you again to everybody that sent me something to my p.o box um i definitely don't feel like it was a waste of money now it's it's really cool to open stuff that's sent to me by you guys so yeah hope you enjoyed this one i will upload another one when I have enough footage to do so, which will probably be another while, but yeah. See you guys.